Welcome back to our favorite game for what? The past month, month and a half. Stick it to the stick, man. So what we're going to be doing is, I mean, this is ridiculous. I've, I've won the game with everybody except for Saitama. How have I not won it with one punch, man? Stupid. I don't know. There's a lot of theories. So we're going to be doing Saitama. And um, Mega Bomb actually brought up a tip. And I really, really appreciate these tips. They've actually helped me get really good in the game. But human projectiles can actually throw humans if you double tap spacebar or if you double tap the attack button. Because I actually play with a controller. But secondly, a little bit later in this video, we're going to be doing a player challenge. So as you're watching this, I want you to leave me your player challenges in the comments below. If you see one that you like, make sure to give it a like so that it's more likely to be chosen. That also shows me, hey, a lot more people are interested in this idea. So, without further ado, let's jump into the action at $15. All right, starting out. That worked out. I think what I have to do is just get the proper level of separation from these guys. Sleep punch. Sounds appropriate. All right, we're going to wait for these guys to come down. I don't want to kill them yet because I got to maximize the XP potential here. We'll get another board because we are one punch man. But the boards is like what I have to manage. Okay. I've got to run up here and get this promotion. And they're... All right, and we'll get one of these up to... All right, get out of my ha house here. Oh, my God. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, we got to do this just so I don't lose my combo meter. There was a tempting one. Look, look at how many enemies we have. I mean, this is nuts. Okay. All right, we took one hit on the nose here. We'll be bored, and then we'll hit him with the one punch. We'll take the a double XP. I guess we'll do a normal side hop. Which helps me dodge, I guess. Wow. Now, the other thing to keep in mind is the $15 tier, which is basically medium difficulty, allows you to fight, I think, the zombie boss. Like, and that one was probably the coolest one. And that got me thinking, wouldn't it be amazing if this game actually had a mode where you could play, like, horror mode? Okay. We've got some kick, so we'll increase the kick damage. Here. Dude, that punch is epic. Okay. Okay. That thing, when leveled up, is going to be incredible, isn't it? I mean, the answer is clearly yes. All right, so let's see. Oh, I tried to hop through the guy, and that is not how it worked. All right, we got a promotion. A serious side hop. We'll swap those. Oh, there's a gun boy. Two gun boys. We'll knock them both out. Take a punch to the nuts! And then we're going to try to run up this ladder so we can get our promotion before we get ganked. Increase all punch damage, obviously. Take our health. All right, free XP as in more enemies. <laughs> Look at that, man. All right, is this finally my moment of glory where I, Saitama One Punch Man, uh, I don't think we've done this one yet, so we'll do the 10 kilometer run. But I believe we've got three out of four. I think the one we have to do is maybe 100 squats. Oh, I just love <gasps> just not. Look at that. Block the first damage. Um, Helicopter kick. Oh, I just love it. I just love it. Hey, Uzi, buddy. Stupid. Yeah, $15 also gives you the Uzis. Oh, my God. Yeah, I don't know why I thought Saitama sucked. Like, let's just be honest. I probably just suck. Now, here's the interesting thing. Human projectiles. So, Force Choke creates human projectiles. So, we're going to get this just so we can try out our new tip from Mega Bomb here. All right, everybody, cue in. And you all get street sweeped. <laughs> I mean, I just love it. I'm already at combo meter 92. We're about to fight the big boy mini boss. And then we're just going to bum rush this guy. Out. And he's already dead. Fantastic. Get out of my way, red boy. Ow! I love how we're upgrading in the air right now. Okay, so we're going to turn this into a serious punch. Wow. Look at that. Oh, my God. That move's incredible. Okay, so board actually does. Oh. See, look at that. I missed my attack, but luckily, let's go fast track XP, street sweeper to the Uzis, who's actually alive. Oh, God. Come on down and get some, boy. Yeah, you did. A zombie horror mode should actually be part of the game. And let's see. How come I'm not getting squats? I'm, I'm a little bit disappointed. God, that punch is just so amazing. Okay, human projectiles. That's where we have to double tap. We got to test this out. All right. So we'll get through here. Ooh, 100 sit-ups. Maybe, yeah, it was a... All right. I don't know. I double tap. Maybe I have to double tap it from the beginning, right? All right, we'll try that. Axe boys are coming. Ow, 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 ow. That's, that's bad. We're jumping out the window. Yeah, I think I threw them. I think I may have actually thrown them. I love my combo meter when it's over 100. That's my favorite. We'll take a normal side hop so we get the really good side hops. Do you wanna, do you wanna hang out, dude? 
All right, ninja boss, my nemesis. Now, one of the tips in the past was to use slow motion, which will basically... Oh, I threw him out the window. <laughs> okay, okay, that was awesome. Let's go with a normal punch because they're really, really good when fully upgraded. That was actually the best I ever did, and that's all because of Mega Bomb's tip. All right, we're gonna heal on a roll. Look at that. That one punch just cleared out the freaking room. Now, your suggestion enemy, the guy who's the window washer, comes into the game. Big Boy's just stunned. He's like, man, I'm so astounded yeah. by your newfound success with Saitama when normally you suck. I'm not used to this. All right, we're gonna take Gossip because that actually plays into the challenge we're gonna be seeing. Ow. Boom. Everybody dead. <laughs> oh God, oh God, oh God. Get out, get out of here. Yeah, that's great. All right, big boy. I'm gonna punch you. Oh, that's a normal punch, isn't it? Ow, that's that's really not nice, dude. Yes, I can throw bosses out the window. That is just unfair. All right, now we've got three super powerful punches. I think we're gonna make relatively quick work. You know what? I'm taking that normal punch. We've got so many punch moves right now. He's waiting upstairs, and that guy just flew into the moon, boy. All right, big boy, let's see what we got. Yep, nice already. All right, we're gonna do the... Yes, that is awesome. Now I understand why they're called human projectiles. No! Okay, that was actually really, really bad. No, we can't lose, we can't lose. Jeez, how is everybody alive? Oh, I lost my combo. Yep, not, not sticking around for that. There we go. There's the med kit that I most desperately need right now. All right, I'm able to stun him right as he lands and then get a big hit in, usually. That was 10 damage via the fisty cuffs. I knocked him out of the map. Am I doing damage, though? There we go. We actually got him in here, so should be able to beat him up pretty decently right there. Oh my god, what just happened to me? Okay. Uh, I don't know how I ended up on the left side, to be honest with you. I don't know what just happened. What is it? What is, I just broke the game. Look at that dude. He's a freaking projectile. All right, this guy's almost dead. That should that should be pretty close to done. And Saitama. <laughs> Look at how perfect is that, Mega Bomb? Your skill, like your tip, actually was the finishing move on the final boss here in this well, very early prototype build of Sticky to the Sick, man. You gotta remember that these devs, by the way, I've got a very cool game coming out from them soon called Terra Nil. Totally different than this, but I think we're gonna get a lot of really, really good stuff when this game does finally get released. We're stamping on Jeff Bezos' face. We're pushing him off and we will enjoy our success because we've already increased the minimum wage as much as possible. So, this one is the wizard battle challenge, so we gotta start as the extrovert. The only way to kill enemies is with your allies from gossip and mob justice, and you cannot attack enemies, maybe to start until you get one mob justice. I mean, this one's gonna be very difficult, because I'm not supposed to use any offensive moves, I'm only supposed to be using my dudes. Every time you can get gossip or mob justice, you have to get them. For you to win, you have to defeat the final boss and necromancer in the same playthrough. Oh no, this is gonna be a tough challenge. We just got to get lucky so we'll see that was a nice hit i knocked that guy <laughs> upstairs Jeez, there's what is with all the dudes is it the extrovert like he's got the more enemies thing we'll take strangle that's kind of like some jedi powers i feel like a wizard can have jedi powers all right we need brag could work shout i think works too oh my god look at how many enemies we have yeah we'll turn that into gossip yeah, please fight amongst each other. So this is basically, oh my God, my minions suck. Stupid. Three uppercuts to the nether regions of those guys. Sorry. Life hurts. Now we're definitely getting a thousand Sudokus, which means I can miss one move without losing my combo. Oh God, I should be actually getting this. And our first mob justice. That's fantastic. That will definitely help us. So we are now a level one wizard. Hello, no appointments. How about you fight these guys? They're decent. I one one thing I do wish was uh, I think they may have patched it out, but I thought at one point like your minions can actually um, when they hit they actually up your combo meter. I actually have to slap my own guys so we can move on here. Take the XP. All right, so let's see if I can't fight this guy with only mob justice. Ow! That was pretty damaging. Okay, okay, I lost my mob justice. All right, 
I need more. I need more guys. Oh, I think I only it only activates if you look at him. Okay, all right, we gotta wait for him to get down and then we mob. It didn't work. Oh, it did work. Oh, and I still took a bullet. Go ahead, make my day. <laughs> look at him just staring at that staple gun. All right, I think I might have to intervene. There we go. I mean, I was pretty close to death. Here we go. We're almost got our second one here. Oh, look at this. We got the uh, we got the random level. Every now and then you get the brawl here. It's very random and it definitely doesn't happen all the time. There's my minions. Well, one of them anyway. Oh my goodness. Reduce any damage. Yeah, I mean, I'm a wizard, right? There we go. I actually got the guys with the pistols on my team. Oh, yeah, he shot me? <laughs> How did that happen? You're supposed to be on my side. Uh oh. All right, I gotta get that chest. Take that the mob justice. Get out of the way, get out of the way, get out of the way. Take the extra rerolls. Ow. Man, I'm getting whooped. I should have called in more guys. I mean, I'm sorry, but sometimes it ain't doing it the way it's supposed to be doing it. Yeah, go, go get that guy, will you? Now, hopefully he beats up some of you guys. But if I call in more, it didn't call in more. It didn't call in more. Yeah, I'm, I'm giving myself Jedi powers. Wizards are essentially just Jedis from a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. I mean, that's just that's just facts. All right, now I gotta force choke you, but I can't force choke you. All right, we got a mob justice ready. Now he's chained up. Ooh, I need that medical kit. Oh, run, 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 run. Ow, I'm getting, I'm getting ping ponged. Ignore first damage on any floor. Absolutely. Now we got human projectiles. I do love being able to summon in like multiple guys. If we can get this right for the final boss, we actually might. I mean, we've broken the game before where we summon in so many enemies. I think that was the big guy boss, wasn't it? There we go. Let's end this. Now we're going to pick. Oh, perfect. We got another gossip. All right. This is, this is all working to plan. Yes. But the fact that you have to slap your own guys, I think you should be able to travel to other levels. Oh, look at that. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's just good. It's just so good. Three mob justices. More enemies? Yeah, why not? Oh, God. Is that a good idea or a bad idea? It's a bad idea. I, I'm... My guy should be coming. Now, do I get a double dose? All right, let's let them all fight. It does help you a lot, though. Look at that. That's a very nice combo number. Very nice indeed. Get them, boys. And then run out that window. Commit Sudokus. They're running the wrong way. Whoa, 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 don't take me out with you. All right, slap parade for all of you. Oh, we got a fourth gossip. Thank goodness. What if I just fall out the window and respawn down here? Oh my God, what just happened? So many enemies. Blah. Get him. Get him. All right, everybody get over here. Get ready for the slap parade. I got to line you up. That should be calling in more guys. It never works as I want it to work. Ow! That was not how that was supposed to happen either. Oh! I'm, I, I thought I was much lower on health than I am, I guess. Bring in the friends. Maybe there has to be multiple enemies for you to be able to bring in multiple allies. But I like how I can not lose my combo meter up here. All right, I gotta get over there. Oh, look at that. Ooh, definitely take your fire. That seems like a wizard skill. We're sort of modifying this a little bit because there's just certain mechanics in the game that like don't allow Cosmo and Ionita's like challenge to work as we want it to. Oh, get him, boys. Don't let him shoot me. I'm your boss. Look at that. That's three. Okay, okay. That did work. We called in three orders of reinforcements. Boys, get down there and Stupid. fight. You're supposed to be down there and fighting. You're fired. Oh, protect me. Protect your leader. Here we do. We, we, we're a little bit aggressive here. <laughs> All right, now we're starting to act like the wizard necromancer. And let's see, if we stun him with some fire, will they just keep beating him up? More reinforcements. Now he's blocking the ladder, unfortunately. Oh, I actually got the health anyway. Now we go. We pushed him out the window. All right, boys. You know, you're supposed to be. How many of you have weapons? Doesn't matter. I, okay, human projectiles is not one of my favorites. Wow. We've got battles on like every floor now. <laughs> well, at least two, two floors out of the four I can see. You're all downsized. All right, how does this work? If there's no elevator on this floor, 
I guess we don't really get the reinforcements. Now this should be cool. Human projectiling an entire floor of enemies. Uzi guy on my side because I'm a freaking wizard. Take the extra rerolls again. Mob justice, mob justice. And now, <laughs> look at that, <laughs> they knocked the Uzi guy down. Now I'll fire everybody on this floor. I took a jump kick by my friend because you know what? And then I missed the box, no! Well, we got a thunderclap, okay, effective. All right, so this is the ambush part. It's a trap. All right, that sh I, I was expecting a few more reinforcements, honestly. Won't budge. I don't know what that is, but we're doing it. Surprise, mother- We'll fire everybody down there. Yeah, where's the- Where's the freaking reinforcements now? All right, come on down. Force choke by a wizard. See ya! <laughs> All right, so that's that should be two orders. Three orders. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I, I I can't make any rhyme or reason out of it. We have a ton of max health, though. I mean, a wizard getting, like, an energy ball would work, I think. There we go. We got a gossip, though. You know, we're holding to at least the core tenets of the challenge. All right. Just force choke all of you. <laughs> and now... Yeah, there we go. See, now it's working this time. Oh, yeah. It's working, boys. I'm fighting the bosses without being involved. We'll levitate. Why not? That's wizardy. It's like I've turned this from like a wizard into like a Jedi wizard. There's more reinforcements. Now, if I levitate everybody, I am the all powerful. Bring in the army. All right. This will definitely work against bosses. His health is very, very high, though. Oh, he jumped out the window. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you know what, this is, this, you're cheating, sorry. He's like, this is not fair, please. Please stop doing that. Please. Yeah, get him, boys, it's a flood of zombies. Oh. Stick of the stick, man, but I control the zombies. We're gonna have too many mob justices. Yeah, look at this, like, to cycle through to get my direct attack, <laughs> to kill my minions, it's all the way over here. Ooh. All right, we'll call in mob justice over here. Call in mob justice down here, mob justice down here. Where's my reinforcements? Maybe maybe there's only so many that can come out the elevator. I don't know. There's probably something very obvious that I'm missing, but that's what's beautiful about having almost two million of you is like you guys can kind of keep me aware of things that I might miss. We'll take the reroll and I guess we'll pontificate. A wizard would be, you know, like if you're watching the wizard's door, it's like, oh, I'm so smart and here's why. And they go blathering on for a while. Oh, I guess the, okay, that's pontificate. Oh, this works on my allies too. Okay. Ow. I just did it. How many can I summon? Oh, too many. <laughs> it's working though. This definitely works against bosses. The wizard challenge. Wizard or necromancer, huh? Now we didn't see the necromancer boss, unfortunately. That would have been really, really cool. Anybody comes over here, they're gonna take a pistol to their face. <laughs> All right, we're probably gonna need a new round. Take the force stroke. I should have taken XP. And we'll fire him from afar. And call in more reinforcements. Yeah, see, this time it works. <laughs> Push him out the window, boys. Push him out the windows. Sometimes this makes me wonder if a, a stickman battle simulator would work. You know, like seeing scenes like this. Oh, he's dead. Okay. He's dead, Jim. Self-promotion. Wait, does that does that do what I think it means? Is this one of my best runs? Oh no, it's just this. There we go. There's the thunderclap we needed. I think it only works on bosses. Oh, he's trying to do it too. All right, what, do you, what can I really upgrade even? I guess human projectiles again. All right, dodge the bullets. Now let's see them fight bullets. <laughs> that worked out. Yeah, go down there and die. Oh, hello, friends. You're fired. Yeah, this is really one of the most powerful builds I think I've had. And extra. He's waiting upstairs. <laughs> Three versus one, who wins? Three gray guys, one red guy. Oh man, they're really beating him up now. There we go, good work. Now you guys have served your purpose. This proves they're zombies. They kill themselves. Yeah, let's see how this works out. Oh yeah. <laughs> Just spamming it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Look at them waiting, dude. This is some World War Z type stuff in Stick of the Stick Man. I am loving this. Now we'll call in more the next round. And we'll wait for him to pop back up to get the year fired. Put him on fire a little bit, get, get some punches. We have these guys to kill themselves. Oh my god, what's happening? Oh, there's a body ragdolling. Wizard of unlimited power! I want that health though. Thanks. 
<laughs> I mean, it's definitely slow going, but like, it is pretty impressive. Dude, like, I literally threw everybody off the map right there. But I can't hit the boss with my punch. But I also can't miss the punch. There we go. Another cycle. <laughs> What's it like beating the boss without punching him yourself? Pretty awesome. Guys, get him. Oh, no. Oh, no. Dodge the bullets. Oh, he, sh he just shoots whatever's closest. Oh, his AI isn't advanced enough to target me directly. Oh, wow. That was awesome. Oh, wait. I can't punch him. See ya. I'm gonna hide here. Don't shoot me. <laughs> He's not very smart. There we go. There we go. We'll wait for him to pop back out to get fired. Dang, that was a pretty good move, boss man. I guess that's why you're the boss. <laughs> Uh-oh. A lot of bullet shields, though. There we go. There we go. Okay, another cycle. Health kit for me. For me? Hit some of your guys so you don't lose your amazing combo meter of over 300. Wait for the boss to come. Fire him. Little human projectiles. I think human projectiles is what is definitely keeping this prolonged. All right, I gotta get over here, levitate. Yeah, so I, I can't throw them. That's what I need to not do is throw them. All right, he's so close to dying. This might be it. It depends what he's got. Look at him just like swinging his arms around. He's like, ah, <laughs> it works. Okay, Cosmo Ionichi, your challenge, the wizard challenge was pretty awesome. That's probably like one of the most fun playthroughs I've actually had in Stick of the Stick Man because it was so different. So if you guys got any other really, really cool and original ideas for challenges, we'll pull the trigger on the like button and let me know those ideas in the comments below. And if you see one that you like, upvote it. Thanks for watching another episode of Stick the Stick Man. Remember that the devs made another game that I'm gonna be showing off this weekend, so stay tuned and see you later.